I'm Rebecca Riley St. Thomas, and I'm here with my son, John St. Thomas, and we're proud to be sales managers and senior mortgage bankers here at CMG Financial Home Loans. And we are so excited today to have Dave Herps with us, and he is the vice president of the All-in-One Loan. Um, he was recently named as a 2022 Housing Wire Insider. Um, Dave was recognized for his incomparable contributions to the growth of the All-in-One Loan his dedication to educating industry professionals and borrowers, real estate agents and fiduciaries on impacting the mortgage uh, product and the need for this type of innovation. Um, and as John and I have recently joined CMG Financial Home Loans, Dave's YouTube videos and our further research of the product was one of our deciding factors in choosing CMG Financial. Um, and Dave, you have been so kind to travel here to Scottsdale um, to do two incredible presentations for us. Um, it has been opening you know, so many doors um, and helping us grow our businesses. And so we are so grateful uh, for your time today. So thank you so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you. Oh, you know, thank you for, for allowing me to participate. Um, uh, and it's not, it uh, wasn't a hard jaunt from, you know, from where I live in uh, San Diego out to, to Arizona, out to Phoenix and Scottsdale to join you guys. And that was a fun trip. And I hope to be able to join you for, for many more in the coming months. And I'm uh, super appreciative of the effort you're putting forth to, to raise awareness on the product. It's a powerful tool, as you, as you know, and um, I appreciate the fact that you guys are doing this. No, absolutely. 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 Um, well, we kind of want to start on the history and the purpose of the creation of this product a little bit, mm -hmm. and just, you know, mm -hmm. why it came about, how you decided to create it, and just, you know, where, so where it all stemmed from. The concept of uh, the, the all-in-one loan, um, and, and for everybody that's viewing, uh, just very briefly, the, the product structure is, is unique in that it merges together a mortgage with personal banking into one very flexible, fluid account that really helps borrowers, whether that's home buyer or, or a current homeowner with a mortgage that refinances into the all-in-one loan. It really helps people uh, have an easier time gaining control of their payoff trajectory, certainly having much greater influence over their total cost on the loan. Um, because it leverages everyday normal cash flow that would normally flow through a regular checking account in order to essentially shrink the size and the cost of the mortgage faster and then do it safely while keeping money liquid, right, for use, for bill payment and everything else. So it's uh, the term all-in-one loan or all-in-one loan mortgage or, or all-in-one accounts is really sort of synonymous with our product. Um, and the idea behind these types of products is not is not new. Uh, it seems newer here in the U.S., but it's globally they're really not. Um, these types of products have existed uh, for decades and decades in other countries, uh, predominantly in throughout Western Europe. Um, they're they're known as offset loans or offset mortgages, uh, but also in Canada, um, Australia, New Zealand, India, you know, and and also here in the United States in the commercial banking space. Uh, there are, there are accounts called universal accounts or, or money merge accounts that are that are used that are very similar. And again, it's just consolidating, you know, into one tool, bundling together, you know, cash flow management with debt, right? Into one, one, one financial product that helps minimize the amount of interest that you have to pay on that debt by using money you already have. So it's a it's a really simple concept, but not a new one. The the way that we uh, came into understanding it and, and, and uh, that built our excitement um, and motivation to build it out really began back in 2002, where the founder of CMG Home Loans, um, Christopher Matthew George, was actually speaking at a banking conference in Australia. One of the reasons why the lending landscape in Australia was embracing this new way to lend and um, help people you know, pay for real estate um, was because the government of Australia um, around that same time had eliminated any tax deductibility benefit for paying mm -hmm. mortgage interest, right? And that really kind of sparked the, or ignited the, the innovation or the, the need to innovate the mortgage and the way they were financing real estate. Um, of course, we get to enjoy that still today, right? We still obviously have a tax benefit for, um, for paying mortgage interest, um, but it's still not a reason to pay more interest than you have to, right? Um, right. Yeah. But down there, the innovation began to unfold and, and Chris happened to be there uh, around that same time. And uh, just began to familiarize himself with it and thought it was brilliant and that this is kind of one of the missing, you know, components of, of lending. Um, and Chris was pretty motivated to do that because, you know, as you guys know, you know him, uh, he's a um, 
he's just a pioneer by nature, you know, Absolutely. innovator by nature. Yeah. And, and, uh, you know, as a family owned and operated organization, one of the largest in, in the United States, I think it's just part of our DNA to try to press forward and identify better ways to do, to do what we're doing. Um, and there's been a lack of innovation really in the industry for a very long time. Um, and I'm not talking about the type of innovation that feeds the, the, the bottom line, the profitability of a bank or lender. I'm really talking about the type of innovation that puts the consumer up front, right? Out front and, and puts them in a better position. Cause if you do that, if you can achieve that, well, you, you create, you know, stickier relationships, longer lasting relationships, I think, uh, uh more rewarding relationships, um, by helping people, right. And putting them first. And, and that's what this mortgage product does. And so we set forth in, in developing our own version of it and we put it to market in 2005, uh, June of 2005. So we've had this available, uh, for 17 and a half years as we sit here today, uh, at the closeout of 2022. Uh, and it's been an awesome journey. Um, but it's different. Uh, and so it takes some education, which is why potentially a lot of people haven't heard about it yet, but it's certainly not a new product or not a new concept. Right. No, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and, um, you know, in talking about the bank account, talk to us about, you know, the power of the deposits, because some of the things that we're experiencing with people that is, is amazing is that this is really a mind shift change, you know, yeah. like how we can use our own money to benefit ourselves instead of the banks and no disrespect to the banks. Right. But right. with this product, you really can show how you can use your own money to help yourself. So, so talk to us about that, if you could, please. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's uh, you know, it, it does um, require a little bit of uh, change in your thinking. It, it almost forces it right. The, the way we think about money, everyday money and our mortgages, I think on one side of that, um, you know, when we think about mortgage debt and the way we manage and finance real estate, um, you know, that the, we all, we all kind of gravitate to what we know, the commodity products that the industry has been offering. And we do it very well. Um, talking about the 30 year fix, the 15 year fix mortgage, you know, the standard arm products, uh, and they serve a purpose and they always, they always have, you know, since inception, since the 1930s, um, certainly they are suitable, uh, uh, for, for the right people during, you know, certain periods of their lives where they need that payment, you know, dependability and, uh, you know, and there's not too much education that really uh, is required to to understand how a mortgage works. You just have to make your payment. Um, but at the same time, there's there's kind of I think that people generally enter into busier portions or segments of their life, right? Without question, you you kind of begin to grow into uh, greater responsibility. You take on more debt. You know, you really can't build a, a decent standard of living any longer in the United States without having to take on debt. You know, most Americans have more debt than just their mortgage that they have to go through and pay for. Um, so as people get busier and busier, they they also sort of demand, I think, a, a, a lot more flexibility, a lot more uh, kind of control, um, you know, and also liquidity. A lot of people need access to additional resources without having to tap into their maybe retirement savings or, you know, the rainy day money. Uh, and that's why the all-in-one loan is really powerful. It's really, you know, I, I like to kind of repeat it's it's not just for first time home buyers. It certainly can be used for the first time home buyers, but it's certainly, I think, intended for the, the busy person, the person that just needs more, more flexibility, more control. And I think the the one thing that a lot of people on the other side of the all-in-one loan, which is the, the, the checking account that's linked with it or embedded into it, I think when you think about checking accounts, um, which I don't think a lot of Americans, by the way, think too deeply about their checking account. Uh, we're more prone right. to get a divorce than we are to, to actually change our banking, <laughs> uh, you know, and so... Um, you know, but if you really kind of sit back and think about the volume of money that passes through just your regular checking account, your standard everyday, you know, traditional checking account, most of us use one. I don't think anybody could qualify for a mortgage without, right, the, knowing how to use okay. one or having one in place. The volume of money that passes through a, a standard checking account for any one American over just the course of five years is likely more than that person owes on their home loan or will owe on their home loan. Uh, so people earn the resources necessary to get rid of their debt faster. The the issue really uh, lies in uh, the fact that, that that account is kept separate, right? So our earnings, our income is really managed through separate financial facilities uh, mm -hmm. than our debts, right? So on one hand, we have high volume of money that passes through these accounts that really don't provide us you know much in return we're not earning much interest at all on on our check on our checking accounts or savings accounts relative to what we have to pay out on our debts we'll always pay more interest higher interest rates and higher volumes of interest dollars 
on our debts than we earn on our income, right? As we manage those through, you know, uh, cash accounts. This is where the brilliance of the product, you know, comes in. It says, hold on a minute, let's not let cash land and sit idle, doing nothing, earning little, if if anything at all. Um, let's let the mortgage be that landing place because the mortgage is costing much higher interest. Let's allow that cash to just reside in the mortgage automatically for the customer, which automatically then creates the benefit of reducing the amount of interest they have to pay each month. It's just a simple change, uh, but it, it certainly sort of illuminates the power of your income. You know, and that's that that I think is kind of the underlying story with a loan that's super powerful is is like people have the resources, they earn the resources necessary to get out of debt sooner than they think. They just don't have the right financial product, right? It's it's all about the products and services we develop for them. Uh, and and that develops the behavior that creates the incentives um, and the benefits. And that's what this does. I love that because whenever I talk to borrowers and people, uh, you know, I'll say to them, like, why do you have a checking account? Like, why do you have a savings account? And they kind of look at me like, that's a dumb question. But I'm like, well, no, really, like, why do you have a checking account? And they're right. like, well, because I need to put my money somewhere. And it provides liquidity, right? Like if I need that money tomorrow, I can get it tomorrow. And so I'll say to him, I'm like, well, it's, so it's not to make money, right? Like this is not a financial instrument that you're using to earn interest or make any money. And they say no, right? And so I'll say to him, like, all right, well, what if you could take that same type of instrument, remain fully liquid and have all that liquidity, but now it actually is going to provide a savings of X percent and, and benefit you in a way that the checking account never benefited you before. Yeah, that's and right. Kind of, how, how does that work? You know, how can you do that? That sounds like too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Like I promise it's not, but yeah. yeah, for a lot of people, it's just so foreign. I mean, they, like you said, they just have a checking account because mom had a checking account and we all need it. I, I would argue that right. we all need a checking account, but they never really think about what's going on there. Um, but it's really, you know, to park your money somewhere, even for a small period of time and to remain yeah. liquid. Right. So to be able to keep all those features, but actually now gain a benefit from it. That's know, right. Is, yeah. That's right. And, 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 and to dovetail on that, Johnny, it's the, I, th I think additionally, a lot of people don't think about the amount of time their, their dollars remain idle in their account. I right. think, I think I, right. I truly do. I think through my experience of, you know, promoting the loan, educating people, getting out there in the, in the marketplace nationally and, and speaking to people from financial advisors, you know, fiduciaries, holistic planners to, tax planners to, you know, home buyers and current homeowners, real estate agents, of course, uh, and, and of course, industry professionals in mortgage. Um, I, I can tell you that through that experience, one of the thing, one of the things that I, has, has really become apparent is that people don't really think, you know, that much about the length of time that their money resides in a checking account that that's called float. Yeah. And this right. is, this, this is what makes, you know, deposit accounts so powerful for deposit institutions that offer check-in accounts where essentially the way to really think about it is we are lending our money. You know, we need the account in order to de securely deploy our, our income to pay for, for life, right? Life's bills and expenses. But uh, the trade-off is that we're essentially lending our income to a bank, yeah. um, and uh, and they're and we're lending it to them at near zero percent. So it's a pretty darn good loan we're we're providing, right. <laughs> right? As individual Americans and with a lot of money, and uh, you know, but for the for the average consumer, I really do think that most people just kind of walk around and the day they get paid, whether that be a commission check or just regular you know, monthly wage, uh, or even, you know, self-employed income. I think that a lot of people on, on just a really deep personal level don't feel like they have a lot of money on hand, you know, like right. the, when you earn money, you just, it's all spent. It's already, it's already spoken for, you know, you got bills and expenses to pay out. Um, and so, but so this kind of forces people or sort of illuminates the reality is that, hold on a minute, you earn a lot over time, much more than your mortgage is, is costing you and, and, uh, that you owe, uh, and, and that money isn't, I know it doesn't come all in, into your account all at once, but it also isn't spent out at once either money right. floats around for days, sometimes weeks, even sometimes months before it's spent on whatever need we have. Right. And so that's where the power, uh, of cash flow through an all-in-one loan, uh, mortgage, uh, is it, you know, works. And that's, that's why it's so powerful every yeah. single day, John, to your point, every single day that money is kept in the mortgage and the all-in-one loan, you're effectively saving interest on the mortgage debt, right? On the principal balance at the rate of the loan itself, which, which means your, your, your trade-off, your savings, your, your benefit is greater than what you could earn 
with those dollars through a normal deposit account. Yeah, I say to borrowers all the time, I'm like, do you want to earn at 0.001% in your checking account? You know, you get a, uh, at the end of the year, hey, I made 14 cents, you know, you're feeling really <laughs> good about it. Or right. you, know, you want to be saving at a rate of 300 or $400, whatever the number is, you know, a month. Yeah. And then, hey, now look, at the end of this year, I just saved, you know, $4,000. Yeah. In a compounded fashion, right? So if month one, you're saving $200 in interest in the all-in-one loan, well, if you kept that $200 of savings in the all-in-one loan moving into month number two, right? That now means that your your principal balance is starting out during month two at a lower starting point than where it did the previous month. So, so now that $200 in savings turns into potentially $350 or $400 of savings during month number two without any change in their budget, without any change in their lifestyle, no disruption whatsoever. It's just money being utilized more, more efficiently. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And I, I think that was so powerful, too, is that when we show this to people and they understand it, they think, oh, my gosh, it actually encourages them and they get excited to save more money because they're like, oh, my gosh, let's put more money in there because it's going to drive down my principal balance, therefore reducing my interest only payment I make, um, increasing my equity. And this is right. magical. And then people go, oh my gosh, I'm responsible fiscally anyway. Like, let me be even more. And it's kind of like a game. You know, they look at it and they go, totally. oh gosh, look what this is doing for me. And it's it's an amazing life-changing product for people. Yeah. yeah. So one of the, you know, clearly, and I think we're going to probably, um, you know, it's a perfect segue probably into where you're, you're headed next, which is the simulator and talking about Absolutely. forecasting benefit. Just to add to what you were saying, one of the things that we want to develop out pretty soon is a is a real-time um, uh, informational app that uh, provides notifications to uh, okay. account users, to, yeah, to, to our, our customers that provides them, you know, you, you go, I mean, imagine this, you, um, you know, you swipe your all-in-one loan ATM debit visa card at the gas pump, you fill your gas uh, tank up, you spend hundred dollars. That of course comes out of your mortgage, your balance increases by that hundred dollars, but it's still lower that day, right? Because the bulk right. of your cash is sitting in the account waiting yeah. to be spent on other things or not spent at all, right? It's just there in, in uh, creating savings. But imagine on your phone, you get a little little notification that lets you know how that just impacted your, your trajectory for payoff and interest savings relative to a goal that you may have in, in, uh, inputted into the, to the app. And conversely, payday comes and it tells you, hey, you've just shed off another two and a half months off your mortgage time and just because you got paid today. You yeah. know, I mean, so it so that the, the building building the incentive and I think the engagement, the visibility, yep. uh, is important. And I think honestly, that's what's lacking in the financial industries. Certainly, mortgage. A lot of people don't really. They feel like asteroids. They're just kind of floating through space. Not sure where you're going to land one day. It's hard to know. Um, and I think having some understanding of your trajectory is really important for people. Oh yeah. Well, it makes it easier to make better decisions when you have that awareness, right? It's almost like yeah. the joke when you go to a restaurant, it says what the calories are on what you're going to order, right? Totally. You take a second guess about whether or not you're going to order <laughs> that thing, right? And you're like, right. Uh, maybe I won't get the pasta. Maybe I'll get the salad because I'm aware right. of it. Now, right. Same type of concept where you see how that, uh, you know, payment you. at the pump now affected you or that <laughs> income just affected you. And you're like, wow, when I do make positive decisions, I do see benefits happen, right? Yeah. Yeah. That well said. I if we weren't recording this video, I would steal that from you, John, and and claim it as my own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I can't do that, but perfect. That's a great analogy. You, you can Did you want to yeah. yeah. All right. I will. <laughs> uh so the simulator. Do you want to you want to talk yeah. about the simulator? Yeah. Absolutely. We love it. Yes. Obviously, you know, this is uh, all theory without being able to provide evidence of how income dollars applied to uh, daily loan principal can actually, you know, save people money and time, uh, right, and create equity in a, in a home sooner and provide them opportunity. I think the optionality is one of the biggest advantages of the loan. How would you like the option to save a bunch of money and time, even if that didn't make sense for you right now? Uh, would you like the option to be able to maneuver through through life without without having to go chase for interest rates around or, or loans, go go apply for additional loans. Um, well, being able to forecast uh, the, the benefit, the potential savings uh, is important to us. As you know, uh, it's required. It's a, it's a required step to generate what we call a simulation. And we yep. do that through our online calculator. Of course, we have an online interactive, uh, publicly available uh, interactive simulator that measures um, really everything you'd, you'd, you'd need to know. Uh, a simple inputs takes about two minutes to get through and then provides a bunch of features where it'll uh, help uh, a user of the calculator test, stress test, you know, different climates, different economic cycles, different rate environments, 
uh, you know, changes to their budget, um, maybe, you know, certain things they want to achieve in the future, like maybe buying another investment property or moving, you know, what would that look like? But it measures payoff timing, total interest cost, and it compares it to a traditional loan. Right. Uh, and so it's it's a it's required. Uh, we want to make sure that this is being put put in place for you know uh, uh, people that know how to manage it and are suitable for it. But it's also going to help them save tremendous amounts of of money and time. And I'm not talking about a little bit. You guys know you've right. seen the results as you guys are originating these and promoting right. it. Uh, it doesn't save you a little. It saves you a lot. It's life changing. It's meaningful. Right. It, but, no, you know, it, it absolutely is. You know, and to your point about it being required, you know. You know, as, as John and I started here and, and talking with people, we, we've told them this is a required video meeting, just kind of like we're having today, right? We're, or we sit with someone in person. And so we require going over it. It could be a 45 minute to an hour and a half um, consultation that we have with people. Um, but like, for instance, you know, you talk about the power of this program. We're working currently with an investor that we're closing on um, alone this week. And uh, when we showed him the power of this product, um, the loan is going to be paid off in eight years. Uh, he's going to save $537,000 of interest over time and his effective interest rate. You know, we know this is not the interest rate, but the effective interest rate as uh, shown by the simulator is 3.8%. So where in today's market are you going to pay off a loan in eight years, but get an effective interest rate of 3.8%. And, you know, it's just amazing. So, yeah. you know, to your point, you know, this is, and, and the other thing is because it's available to the public, one of the things that we do um, in all of our email correspondence with wrapping up our initial conversation is we take your videos um, along with the simulator um, and some, you know, frequently, frequently asked, asked questions, questions, and we will email it out to the borrowers and say, here, this is what we sent to you after our initial conversation. Let's go on and play with it and everything. Um, and like, as an example with this particular investor, um, you know, he's very savvy and he was all excited about it. And so he, he kept calling me throughout the process, you know, over the last few weeks. And he says, oh, Rebecca, I just thought about this. I'm going to be getting this money from, you know, this investment that's going to be coming due. And you know what, I'm going to put it in there. And you know what, I just put it in the simulator. And this is what it told me that this was going to help me with. And this is just amazing. So it's like, yeah. it's so rewarding, you know, especially at this time in our market to have someone call and go, I'm so excited. This is the greatest thing because people don't call you and tell you that, you know, and we learned this from our wonderful Adam Pugmire, you know, mm -hmm. people don't call you and say, oh, thanks for the 30 year fix. That was just wonderful. Right. The people call you and they say, Hey, this is great. And it's life changing. So, you yeah, know, just, yeah. just being newly here to have this excitement with our clients is, is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't think you, I don't think the words love and mortgage tend to right. belong in the same <laughs> sentence, Yeah, but, exactly. but that's, it, that's exactly the feedback we get, you know, routinely yeah. and we have been, so it's powerful. Yeah. I was going to say that exactly. Traditionally, I don't think somebody gets like excited for you know right. the idea of getting a mortgage. Right. But right, this right. is a different conversation where we actually have clients who are calling us like, I can't believe I can do this. Did you know that I could do that? Yeah. Like, what if I applied my money this way? How does this work? You know, and yeah. those are never calls that I'm getting on a 30 year fixed loan. You know, nobody's <laughs> like, man, what if I did it like this? You know, they're right. Just, yeah, yeah. It, it goes, it just goes further. Right. I, I mean, so here's, you know, something just to add to that. Most Americans, as, as we know, need financing, need to borrow money in order to buy real estate and own real estate. Right. Um, um, probably life's most uh, valuable asset is, is the home you, you, you buy and real estate in general, American real estate specifically. And, um, uh, and, and we know about eight out of 10 Americans in the market to buy, uh, even recently, uh, still need financing, right? So obviously that makes sense. Less, fewer cash buyers, right, uh, than, than those of us that need to need a loan in order to make it work. Uh, so the lending industry and what we do for a living and, and what we do to serve people is extremely important, of course. It wouldn't work without, without access to credit. And good people like you guys to be able to uh, provide that service. But I also think, you know, clearly we, we're we're sort of subject to the products and services that we have, right? We behave accordingly. And when I think one of the powerful things about this this loan is that um, you, you stop thinking about it as a loan. You really start thinking about it more as a a financial security blanket, a way to better manage, you know, debt and and your life in general. And uh, and it it's it it, it was sort of illuminates what's possible. Right now, it sort of opens or awakens your mind to things you could, you can accomplish securely, and and when it makes sense, I think that's also one of the things because it's flexible. It's a thirty-year draw line of credit, the only one in America. 
that applies anything you you put towards it through the deposit directly to loan principal, the only one in America. It's also the only mortgage product that recomputes interest on that new principal balance nightly, right? The only one in America. So to serve the customer and helping them reduce what they owe and, and the cost of, of that money is a powerful mechanism. And that's what cultivates or develops all these different options for people. But it's also, it's that choice. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to remodel the kitchen. Maybe you thought it would right now, but now you go, hold on a minute. Things don't, think, things kind of look uncertain out there in the in the economy. Maybe a recession's coming, maybe it's not. Why don't we wait another couple months, right? In, in the regular mortgage landscape, you're making a decision and you're locked into that right? Cash out refinance in order to get the money out of your home to maybe renovate or something. You're, you're already in, you're committed. Well, with the all-in-one loan, you don't, you have it available, but you don't have to pull the trigger. You, you get to decide when that makes sense, when it doesn't make sense and flexibly maneuver through time. Um, and, and that's, that optionality, uh, I think is, is a, is a huge advantage, especially for today's, you know, homeowner and, and home buyer. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Um, and I want to talk about a couple other things. Um, Will you touch on how, you know, if you're a fiduciary, financial advisor, you know, tax preparer, like how, how does this help you with your client base um, and your business? Sure. Well, you know, again, most, most people, another quick stat, right? Most people need to borrow in order to own real estate. And, um, you know, I think when you think about the mortgage and debt in general, you borrowed money. So you, there's interest cost on that borrowed money. And the longer you take to pay back that money, the more, the more it's going to cost you, right? That the higher the expenses on that borrowed, uh, cash. So the, one of the strategies that I think really fits well in with any fiduciary, any financial advisor that is interested in not just building, you know, on the, on the wealth side of the balance sheet, uh, the asset side of the balance sheet, but a, an effective way to have more money available to build wealth and financial security. And, and not just, you know, not just wealth and assets and investing, but also, you know, the insurance products, proper tax planning to reduce your liability so that you have more left over and available when you retire. Um, you know, a, a good strategy or a great strategy to actually develop more of that um, is by reducing unnecessary expense in your life. And, you know, clearly the mortgage statistically, it, it consumes the most amount of income out of any other debt that we, that we commit to, right. um, consumes about 45% of all the money um, at the household level that's spent servicing debt, paying for debts. So clearly it's a, it's an obvious place to farm savings from. The problem is, is that, you know, traditional loans tend to be, um, you know, kind of slow, rigid, inefficient, you know, and expensive financial products, even with low interest rates. Again, the because of the amortization built into a traditional loan, it it keeps the loan balance higher for longer, right? In which interest is being computed on. So you end up even with a low APR, low interest rate. Maybe for some of those people that that are listening to this and that maybe refinanced or got a mortgage a couple of years ago when interest rates were much more favorable. Um, that's great. I, I would argue that the interest rate isn't the issue with, with borrowing money. The length of time, the terms are the length of time and how you're, how the principal is being controlled. Is it being controlled by you or is it, is it scheduled out in advance, therefore artificially keeping it higher and, and your cost higher as well? Uh, the all-in-one loan, again, reduces the, the principal balance faster. And in doing so, you customers spend less each month and annually and over time on mortgage interest. That's money that is kept liquid in, in the product. So uh, customers can then uh, use those savings more appropriately. There's bigger and better things to, to spend money on clearly than, than mortgage interest, right? right? Most people, most people, most Americans that are really sort of the pre-retirement segment, you know, people, Gen Xers and, and baby boomers specifically are, are not by all accounts, not on track to actually retire securely with the, the amount of money they need to have saved versus, um, you know, what their lifestyle costs today. So, you know, this, this helps that, that segment of the population as well, because it accelerates pay down farm savings, that savings that could be redeployed uh, by a financial advisor, by a fiduciary who is looking at both sides of the balance sheet, trying to just get somebody to the, to their retirement securely with what they need and maybe more, maybe even debt-free taking advantage of, of reducing liability in, in a lot of different areas. Uh, so it's a it's a tool. It's certainly a financial tool that could be uh, leveraged by a uh, holistic planner to help people get ahead sooner in their life. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, I 
it's really nice to be able to talk to a financial planner about this product because I think most financial planners, they see a mortgage and they see the interest rate associated with that mortgage, like many borrowers do, right? And they say, okay, you know, 4% is better than 5%, 3% is right. better than 4%. And that's it. I mean, that's the extent, right. right? So when they talk to their client and they're like, what's your current rate? It's at five. And what's the rate today? It's at four. There's a better deal. Maybe go look at that. Uh, but with this product, it's really neat because, you know, it is less rate dependent depending on one's cash flows and savings and things like that. But it's nice too, because in our industry, you know, depending on one's occupation, referrals tend to go one way. And generally speaking, it goes from financial advisor to mortgage professional. There are some times where we can give the referral back, which is awesome. But, you know, so there's not huge value that we can provide to most financial advisors other than, hey, I have a low rate right now, you know, and right. I, I'm your friend. So you refer me that deal. It's nice to now have a product where you can go back to a financial advisor and say, you know, your job is to try and help the financial picture of your client. You know, I have a product that can immensely help their financial picture. That's right. uh, furthermore, you know, if they are paying this loan off in say five years, eight years, 10 years, as opposed to 30, that of course, you know, enhance their financial picture. But now because of the fact that this is a liquid, you know, equity line of credit, they could decide to tap, you know, 50,000, 100,000, whatever dollar amount and give that back to you, Mr. Financial Advisor, so that you can further invest it for them and, and continue to help. So it also, you know, selfishly for the financial advisor creates an, an ability to help, you know, them as well. Right. So right. Help totally them immensely, yep. but you can help them too. So it's a totally different conversation where yeah. you know, I'm sitting down and saying, yeah. I'm here to provide you with immense value right. now. It, right. Hundred percent. And and what, one thing I want to say and kind of remind everybody is that, after all, uh, you know, uh, and, and I think I said this even in in uh, one of our events when when I was out there with you guys recently. You know, if you think about it, it's sort of weird how we base our decisions in in managing you know our our mortgage debt and measure it sort of in this kind of good bad kind of scenario in our minds, right? Is is and it's all relative. It's all based on. Uh, interest rates tends to be right. Is my interest rate today lower than what the market is providing now? You know, um, and and if not, I maybe I should take action. Or if I if I have a lower rate than you know current levels, then I'm in a good position. I don't need to do anything. I'm I'm set. Um, I, I think both those kind of uh, way, you know those mindsets are sort of flawed um, for for most Americans, for for most borrowers and, and buyers. Uh, and I, because one thing we forget is that four percent is not the goal. Three percent right. um, is not the goal. Two percent is not the goal. One percent paying paying one percent mortgage interest sounds great because it's a lot lower, relatively speaking. But nobody, I think, is happy about paying interest cost on money outstanding. The goal, the end game, is actually zero. Right. After all, yeah. that's why you get a loan because there's an end to it at one point, and right. and you hope to get there at one point in your life. And so that means that the end point represents zero mortgage interest. The real question just becomes. Now, do you want to delay that process or do you want to speed that process up? If if you could speed it up safely without disrupting your, your budget, your lifestyle, your, your own financial situation, wouldn't that simply put you in a better position today and tomorrow? The, the other thing that people achieve uh, and that I think financial advisors really love about this, um, having worked with many uh, hundreds across the United States over the last 17 and a half years um, centered on this product, is that the, the upside of getting rid of shedding the mortgage debt sooner in your life what could you do right those dollars now are freed up right. from mortgage from mortgage prison they're no longer held right. captive <laughs> and now they could be deployed sooner more aggressively towards building wealth so in other words your customer that is going to be paid off in 8 years gosh what if that you know that that amount of money that they would have still been committing towards their 30 year fixed uh, being used to pay down their all in one loan balance in eight years now suddenly is free, not to mention more money than that, right? They'll have more residual money uh, and not counting on them making more income either. It just frees up money they're already earning to now be deployed more aggressively in ways that'll build wealth faster, sooner, financial independence, sooner in their life. So there, there's so many upsides to it um, that this that this product brings to the to the fiduciary um, and obviously that's why a lot of them, you know, gravitate towards it and, uh, and, and love it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, well, I know we're going to wrap up shortly. Um, I just wanted to touch on, um, with you, 
um, the power of this program for investment properties. Um, John and I and our families um, are real estate investors. And um, we have to say that this was probably the thing that we loved the most. And we saw what this does for us as investors. And again, talking with you about um, you know, the investor client that we're working on currently and everything. Um, we just absolutely love this product and the benefits to this are, are so huge in wealth building on the investment property side. So speak to us about that because, you know, we're just, we're just so happy about that whole part of it too. Well, first and foremost, I think, uh, it's nearly impossible. There's not another mortgage product that I know that's available, uh, in the U S uh, for investment properties at this level. Right. So we, we we're sort of the standalone lender that is and generated a a 30 year draw first lien position 30 year draw home equity line of credit with an embedded um uh, checking account that that helps people better utilize their cash flow to minimize their balance and, and develop you know equity in the home sooner more rapidly um so and and make that available for investment properties i don't think there's another product out there like that so uh we we do that we lend on uh single family residences multi units one to four unit um and up to a million for an investment property. We're looking at raising that loan amount uh, as well pretty soon. Um, but I think the the besides obtaining the financing somebody needs, I think the the two major advantages this product provides real estate investors, having been one my, myself, uh, is uh is the the continued growth of of, of positive cash flow out of the property. Right, After all, right. why are you investing? Right. You're you're not just investing for one day to have some cash flow during retirement and have that mortgage paid off. You're also hoping to achieve positive cash flow today, this month, right, right now. Or it hurts, right? It does. It'll it'll hurt. It's very painful when you're not positive um, or even you're you're kind of treading water, you're neutral. Um, so I think creating that positive cash flow is is pretty pretty tough. It's challenging with traditional mortgages given right. their structure, right? You either have to refinance and lower your mortgage payment in order to create you know greater positive cash flow, the difference between your mortgage cost and what you're receiving in rents, or you have to increase what you're receiving in income or lease uh, income off the whether that be short term or long term lease agreements. You have to increase your cost, right? Those aren't always feasible. Uh, right. Clearly, we don't. Nobody, none of us controls interest rates. Um, you can't really refinance and lower your your rate today to achieve a lower mortgage payment. So can't do that. Um, and sometimes you'll price yourself out of the market. Maybe you know, maybe even scare away a, a very trustworthy, loyal. Um, tenant, you know, if you, if you increase your rents too much. Um, so it's very hard to achieve otherwise. I think the, if I was to add a third challenge or, or need that people have that are real estate investors, it's liquidity. It's just having an easier time, you know, repairing, renovating, um, you know, improving and buying again, right. Building their port, their portfolio more aggressively, safely. I, I think these three challenges are all solved, um, by the all-in-one loan without question. You're feeding your your rental income, your lease income directly into the mortgage. It serves as your checking account. One hundred percent of that hits principal. You're reducing the your exposure to mortgage interest on a monthly basis, ongoingly, not just month one and forever. I'm talking month one, month two, month three. Your your monthly payment reduces ongoingly to zero faster than a traditional loan. That that automatically develops, you know, positive cash flow, greater positive cash flow out of that property. So it solves that one, uh, and and without having to, you know, increase rents uh, when that doesn't make sense, that you can't do that. Um, but it also, given the fact that it's a thirty year draw line of credit, you've got access to liquidity. All that money you're using to power down your principal and save money is liquid still. You can pull that back out, replace the carpet, paint, maybe repair something that you need to. Uh, maybe use it for a down payment on another property that you've that right. you've selected, right? And continue to grow your portfolio out. Um, it's just a it's a universal tool that I think is the most powerful financial product uh, that a real estate investor could could achieve today. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah, I mean, I think most people when you invest in real estate, the idea is not to own one home. I mean, obviously right. that's the first initial step, right? But it's to hopefully get home two, three, four, five, and six. And that's right. Is you know. When you're doing that, ideally, what you're doing is you're saving money, right? And that can be the cash flow that you're receiving from an investment property on top of whatever money you're saving from your regular income. But once again, going back to our like kind of human behavior and stuff we were talking about, where is that money going? It's probably going into a checking account or savings account. And it's just mm -hmm. sitting there as float for a period of time, right? Until you build up enough money to go buy another property. That's right. Well, we'll park that into this account. 
And by doing so, it's driving that interest only payment down, which is effectively creating more cash flow. It's going to expedite this process, right? And then you're able to tap that equity, go buy property number two, and you can take cash flow from property number one and property number two and flow it into here and then make that happen quicker and quicker and then rubber band, you know, use it again and get property number three and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it just, yeah. It, it creates an ability to make, you know, speed this timeline up potentially. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah the, so. Most of us, most of us have financial goals and, and, and needs. Well, it, most of us don't want to delay those things. We, we want an easier time accelerating those things and achieving success sooner right. is something I think each of us wakes up wondering how we're going to be able to do, but we want to do that. This does that again, because we're just using money people already have or earning or receiving, and we're using it more efficiently in a place that consumes a tremendous amount of it in cost. Right. So um, one thing I want to add to what John said is that, uh, you know, for, for real estate investors who likely also have a mortgage on their primary residence. Right. Uh, I, I think it's a powerful mechanism too to, to consider putting this on your primary residence or on a primary residence as well. Uh, and and because even if you have a conventional mortgage on a on a rental property, if it makes better sense to have a conventional mortgage on that rental property, potentially um, that cash flow off the rental property could could hit the all in one loan on that that borrower's primary residence, right? Absolutely. So we're now using other people's money to reduce your right. exposure to interest on your primary residence because technically that mortgage payment on that rental property on a conventional loan isn't due until the 15th of each month, right? So if you're collecting rents and your your income's coming in off that property on the first, you you're now achieving float of somebody else's money to benefit from. Yeah. Uh and for for about 14 days before you need to make that that payment on that conventional mortgage, there's a variety of different ways this can be leveraged for the real estate investor. Oh yeah, right. yeah I mean one one way you know that we've seen this too is we're we work with a, a short term rental underwriting company and they work with a lot of investors. They help underwrite deals for them, but they're just absolutely head over heels about this product because we think about a short term rental. You know, you may be receiving deposits daily or weekly, yep. and those deposits can then go into this respective account and hopefully lower that balance at an even faster rate, um, creating you know greater cash yeah. flow equity position. It's, yeah, it's just, it's just math. The sooner money hits the account, hits the principal, the more benefit you get. You could take two customers who make the exact same amount each month and flow the exact same amount in total through the all-in-one loan monthly. But but the individual who maybe gets it uh, r- more routinely, right? Maybe weekly. Uh, or even biweekly in terms of income receipt, um, will actually make faster progress on the product. That's that's the beauty of the the interest recomputation uh, uh, on, on a daily basis. Is it creates the savings advantage on a day. The benefit is daily, not yeah. monthly, not annually. It's daily, and that's uh, it's a powerful tool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know, coupled with the fact that short term rentals can cash flow more, you know, yeah. you're cash flowing more and you are increasing the frequency of deposit. I mean, it can become an immense tool for that type yeah. of investor. Absolutely. Well, yeah. no, and, and then we also think of, you know, obviously, you know, certainly we believe in the long term hold, right? But to raise capital from time to time, you will need to flip a property, right? And so if you have this money sitting there going, okay, when that opportunity arises, we have this money sitting there. Well, if the money's just sitting there, put it in the all-in-one account, right? Um, so that you can, you know, benefit from that. And then as investors, we all are smart and wise to have reserve accounts, right? So we have reserve accounts for each one of our rentals. So if we have, say, $20,000 sitting there for each of the rentals, say we have five units, that's $100,000. The power of depositing $100,000 is just amazing when you look at the simulator and how it benefits you. So like from the investor side of this, you look at this and you're like, this is the greatest thing, you know? I mean, it's just... Incredible. Yeah, it's 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 also a hedge if you think about it. It's also a hedge uh, to inflation, right? Inflationary yes. pressures yes. are eroding away cash flow, yes. right? And cash cash is king, uh, it, but deployed cash turns into wisely used and uh, money that will hopefully turn into a, a very valuable asset. And that you know, it, when you think about the the impact that inflation is having uh, on the the average person, whether it's a real estate investor, just a regular homeowner with one home with one mortgage. The reality is, is that um, you know people commit to paying on their mortgage, and their their payment is maybe fixed. That feels good, but wouldn't you rather have a payment that reduces? That's right. the difference. That's right. it's, it's 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 the black and white choice. Have one that's static and won't move, um, which causes more and more pressure financially at the home because 
your your buying power is is evaporating right as inflation continues to to um you know grip america and um you know wouldn't you rather you know have a hedge in place to where your your expense your mortgage expense is actually reducing maybe at a faster pace than than inflation has risen or will rise again in the future that's the benefit right and uh regardless of you know how somebody is utilizing um you know the mortgage or um what type of borrower they are and what their goals are. I think that's also a huge advantage is the, the realization that your mortgage payment, mortgage expense on a monthly basis reduces automatically means that you are left with more money, right? Your own money that you've already yeah. earned, right? Available for for bigger and better things um, than, than paying mortgage interest. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well, we cannot thank you enough, Dave. Um, of course. Like I said, your two presentations out here were so powerful and they've opened so many doors and, you know, we're looking forward to, you know, there's all this, you know, doom and gloom on the news about, you know, 2023 and what's coming up. And, you know, we're excited because this product, again, you know, is just such a great conversation starter. Um, and it's a way to help people, you know, like you said, you know, we're here to serve people, help them and get them in a better position. And there's no better product on the planet that can do that for people. So, you know, we just want to say thank you so much. And we're grateful this time of year and, and happy holidays and everything. And, yeah. you know, we're going to get you out here at least a couple of times next year um, so that you can, um, you know, take your quick flight um, across mm -hmm. the way and, and get here to sunny Scottsdale. So, yeah. You can be there in 45 minutes, you guys. So yeah, we'd love to. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you guys as well. And I look forward to, to our future endeavors together. Thanks right. so much, Dave. You as well.